so what's up my beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel and uh let's find out the reason as to why the mamangina water flaunt on mamangina drive is famous for if you're new here please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel like share and comment and my name is samuel and let's find out the reason as to why this place is so famous or oh, did you know this place was referred to as Azania before Colon before we gained our independence? Did you know this place was referred to as the land of the black people? If you didn't have an idea or you didn't know more about that, please stay tuned and let's find out. So guys, you can tell this is a picnic site and lot and lot of people throng here each and every day to have a picnic a day out because of the serenity of this environment you can see this all these boabab trees that are here makes this place look absolutely gorgeous and it makes this place so perfect that you don't want to leave this place you know you can see these boabab trees have been here for like 500 years mm -hmm. so guys you can tell how this place is so beautiful so magical you know and uh let me show you on the other side how the gardens that have been put here to protect people from going down to the cliff to the ocean and there is a very nice pathway that lets you to drive across this place and maybe cycle or skateboard and something like that so this is what it looks like So guys look at that sunset man it's amazing and when you look over to the other side that is the Likoni Ferry this is how people from the other side of Mombasa Island that is Likoni because this place is just adjacent to Likoni that's how people close over to Mombasa Island using the ferry and you can see they are just arriving from the other side you can tell So in case you just want to come over to this side from Likoni and you want to come to the Mombasa Island, you can use the Likoni Ferry. You can see people have already boarded and uh, they're going over to the other side. So guys, the other side that you can see, that is the Likoni. The other, that is Likoni and you can tell there are guardrails that guards you from accessing to the ocean so guys you can tell how people just chill in the evening time it's on a Sunday that's why maybe it's so busy you know so guys these are some of the activities that you can do here you can ride bicycles roller skating
so guys this place is full of different activities so don't just limit yourself and say that oh we don't have another place you guys you can go and chill this is why Mombasa or Mamangina Drive is so famous you know So basically, I just want to give you a little history about this Momangina. It was gazetted in 1990 as a World Heritage Site. And uh, before independence or before colonial, this place was referred to as Zin, Zinja of Zania and um, the reason as to why it was referred to as, as Zania it was nicknamed like that uh, as the land of the black people the whole of Mombasa or the coastal region of Mombasa was referred to as the land of the black people and the Azania world was adopted by the Arabs when they took over and they started controlling the coastal of Mombasa so guys you can tell how people just chill here with their cars and uh, have fun that's why I'm telling you this place so famous you know and uh, the incumbent government or the current president of the Republic of Kenya decided to put in place 460 million Kenya shillings to revamp this place. They decided to put on an amphitheater. You can see that is an amphitheater whereby concerts, conferences, when they are done here in Mombasa, this is the exact ground where the conferences are held. So guys, continue enjoying and if you are new here, consider to subscribe. So guys, that is the amphitheater where you can chill, sit as the delegates address the meetings or something like that. So guys, you can see there is a lot and lot of activities that are going on. Oh, a super bike. Oh, it gives me adrenaline rush. Ice cream vendors each and every place. Oh, wow. This place is magical. So guys, with this park aligned with palm trees, it makes this place so beautiful, so magical that you don't want to want to leave this place. So guys, in 2009, October 20th, uh, the president of Kenya, that is Uhuru Kenyatta, decided to open this place to the public after a long time of closure. So guys, this is one of the boabs that makes this place to look wow. You can see much and much of activities happening around here. Street vendors all over. So guys, as I was saying, uh, the first president of the Republic of Kenya, Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, after Kenya gained its independence, that is 1963 he took all he withdrew the azania word and replaced it 
with his wife's name Mamangina that's why this place is called Mamangina Drive or Mamangina Water Flaunt and guys where I am right now this is a symbol of uh, I can uh, the lighthouse this is a lighthouse and this place you can find so many vendors from street food and uh, other stuffs. There are so many things that you can find here like an amphitheater, abolition, uh -huh, what else? And guys since this place of Mombasa is a Islam dominated uh, county it's not a uh, what do I say uh, it's not uh, what do I what do I say what do I say there is a mosque around here so don't be shocked when you find a mosque at this place so that's how the place looks like you can see how the Sun is setting lots and lots of activities going on around here you know so guys this is one of the most famous places you can chill or you can uh, have fun when you're in Mombasa you know you can see how people just park and enjoy listening to music, having chit chat with friends. Activities like face painting and stuff. So everyone I'm inviting you to come to Mombasa and enjoy each and every part of this country, you know. So a big history about this Mamangina waterfront and uh, let me show you something here the six inch gun and placement with observation tower and ammunition store so guys during the battle of independence when the British the Omans the Arabs were trying to control the East Africa this place was used it's a it's a fighting ground and British and Arabs, Omans and everyone who tried to control the East African coast was fighting from here because this was the best point to fight from so you could see the whole So guys you can see how people just chill and uh, enjoy the cool blaze of this place. So guys whenever you find time and uh, you just want to chill and uh, have a good time of your life just come over here and enjoy. You can see how the color leaves have been formed after a lot and lot of years standing over here and the rushing of water to the cliff you know so guys if you can see there is a blinking kind of light over there that is the ship or ferry or boat path
so guys that what you can see over there it looks like a watchtower whereby you just close over and uh, watch the sea or the I mean the ocean you see and you can see how the tides are very high today I don't know if you can be able to swim over you can hear how the tides hits very highly so guys I'm just trying to close over to the other side using this narrow path and uh, I'm trying to avoid the thrashing of water oh shit I hit my head man these are the challenges that sometimes you go through when trying to create content for you guys so that is the ocean this is a Kamin beach whereby you can just chill and uh, have fun Guys, look at that. Look at that view. You can't tell how beautiful it is when the sun is setting. Oh, here, man. So guys you can tell it's almost like 8 p.m. at night and you can see people just over here taking pictures exploring this place you see so guys if you're loving this video please consider to subscribe like share and comment so this place is just adjacent to one of the posh neighborhood here in Mombasa. It's called Kizingo. And from here, guys, you can see, like, uh-huh, this beautiful neighborhood here with a tall building and tall apartments. You see? So don't think it's in a bad neighborhood. It's just a nice place to have fun and chill. You can see how beautiful it becomes at night. So guys, you can find a hotel over here. I don't know what is it, but it's written in Chinese. So guys, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video and uh, I try to stay as positive as possible whenever I go out to create content for you guys but today creating this video has not been the best day of me creating content coming to explore Mamangena water drive and uh, all of a sudden I got arrested I've been booked for an alignment and this police officer came over here yo why are you taking pictures ne, 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 stuff like that i was like what the fuck man am i not supposed to vlog or so showcase my country and he was like oh you know you youtubers you have a big problem you have an ego and stuff like that and uh i have asked him is it not good to showcase our country or show other people what can this country is made of man okay i don't know i don't know what else to say but i am trying to be positive and everything like that please just consider to subscribe like share and uh, let me see how it goes if they are going maybe to align me or do whatever they are going to fuck do with me but i'm not going to fear any fucking thing man so if you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and share with your friends. See you next time.